Victor Papa Charlie Foxtrot Tango, Modern Tower, 1-1, East Point 1. Have a nice day. V1. Good afternoon, Alice. Six. San Bernardino Tower, information. 30. 20. Good morning, guys. Welcome to this episode. Well, I'm gonna fly from Hawaii, Honolulu to San Bernardino. Now it's 5 a.m. in the morning, and let's go to the airport. It's time to say goodbye for a wonderful short vacation in Honolulu. Leaving this paradise in the early morning is a great opportunity to see a sunrise on departure. Thank you for the transport arrangement by Air Service Hawaii, including a nice hotel for our stay. Alright guys, so we just arrived to the airport and now still dark, 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning. And we will get Russ into the airplane. Hi, Michelle. Morning. Hi, morning. And good to fly. And today, since we got a jet stream, um, this tailwind FLH 27 knots, that will be very nice and, and smooth, I guess. Go to San Bernardino. There will be no um, SIGMAT for Tango based on the weather chart that we got. And the flight time will be around five hours. Okay, guys, it's still dark here. Let's go. The beautiful part of our trip is we got an escort service directly to the airplane and can pre-flight the airplane immediately. We have 30 minutes to get everything ready and depart including top off the fuel for the next 5 hours flight to San Bernardino. Here we are again. The Boeing 737-900ER is ready to go and let's start the pre-flight. This will be a very fun flight. Welcome back to the airplane. So we're starting the APU and do the preliminary pre-flight. Good morning. Morning, morning. Stand by for fuel, yeah? Yeah. We didn't get the fuel yet. Well, finally, we already got a flight plan and permit to proceed. Thank you to Air Service Hawaii to give us very great service. And also, we got this Hawaiian chocolate. Wow, amazing. Okay, so this is the flight crew briefing from Air Service Hawaii. And the most important part is we know that our flight, we got a jet stream over here and there's no uh, closed turbulence or SIGMAT. Um, around our area and the flat pad will be very clear and soon i'll go down and do the walk around here okay all right guys so here we're ready to do the pre-flight and i'll do the outboard or exterior pre-flight let's start from here so we want to make sure there's no flag angle of attack indicator the pedal then that static part pedal is good for the captain pedal So now, we're going to the nose wheel area. Make sure that there's no leak and the suspension is looking good over there. And this is the external power. So this is the major important part is angle of attack and first of these are beetles. The static part here. Static port here. And make sure latch. It's completely locked. Okay, let's go to the engine part. Make sure all clean. The bleed, no crack, no dent. All good. There's a latch over there. 
Engine oil access, latch is closed. When I walk inside the main wheel well compartment, my first focus is to find any leaks or loosing cables or broken pipes, especially around the hydraulic reservoir tank. Also, we always want to double check the APU fire system and make sure everything is normal. Make sure no foreign object or mechanic tools are left inside the main wheel well. The main wheel, no flat tire, no leak, and we have to make sure that will be closed. Now we're looking to the onshore valve, No marine on The tail skin is over there. Let's take a look to the APU. Go to the left side of the airplane. The hydraulic no leak. Engine, no foreign object, no dent, no crack on the prop, on the fan, I mean. The IDG access is closed and latch, and also over there, the latch is good. Go all the way to the wing, we want to see the... Okay, we got that electrical discharge installed. Good. Well, and we are here with Michelle, my sister from Air Surface Hawaii. Aloha. 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 So you wake up so early today. Yes, I do. Wow, do you, do you live around here? I live about 18 minutes. It is nice. Okay, say hi to you too then. <laughs> Aloha, thank you. All right, she is from Air Surface Hawaii and she is very nice and helpful. Okay, everything here is still dark in Hawaii now. That's the All the pre-flight walk around has been done and now it's the time to see the whole airplane from a distance to get a conclusion that the airplane position is safe and good to go. Lots of runway incursion incidents happen at very early states like pushback or taxi. Therefore, take a couple minutes to walk around the airplane again from a distance to make sure we are clear from any objects that can be a hazard. The 737-900ER is perfectly beautiful when you see it from this angle. Alright guys, so we're all set. The airplane is in good condition. And now back to the airplane. I'm gonna do some free flight and we get ready for flying. Since we have no flight attendant with us, I'm walking to the aft cabin to check all doors, galley, and lavatory to make sure all is safe and no loose object. So I will have done all the walk around process and also check all the airplane items from in front to the aft cabin everything is good so back to the cockpit and we get ready to get appearance and fly to San Bernardino. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, Tango Roger, push on Charlie. Are you clear for possess traffic to Papa Charlie Fox, Tango? Copy the ground. Uh, okay, we, uh, we are preparing for pushback and start break release and chalk off 1619. Copy, stand by. Uh, copy. And uh, copy the ground. Great, cockpit. Yeah, we want to pressurize our hydraulic now. V2 Heavy Roger, taxi via Alpha, Kilo, Zulu, two parking. 
Uh, copy that. Uh, start in the push. Roger that. All right, guys. So welcome aboard here. Um, the Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango from Hawaii, Honolulu to San Bernardino. And now we are 16 and 22. The UTC of our flight time will be around five hours. So we're starting to push back now, and we got a clearance. Expect flight level one, uh, 410. Now, ATC clearance has been given, and we proceed to final pre flight flows before request pushback. And all flight plan has been loaded, and verifying the departure procedures in the navigation display and FMC are really important to prevent pilot deviation due to wrong automation management. Any one five five one one eight. Cockpit ground. We are starting the engine number two. Copy, going to back this Thank you. Go ahead, cockpit. Free the start engine. Start engine number two. All right, fast off. Start valve open, and we got N2 racing. Twenty-five. Start cutout. Uh, start cutout. Start of cockpit. Uh, push back has stopped. Uh, set parking brake, please. Park parking brake set. Thank you. 25. Start timing. Start a cut out. Pressure. Restore. We've got N1. EGD is normal. And fuel flow is looking good. After start flow. Then start a cockpit. Cold bar and cockpit. Release. Thank you very much. Waiting for your salute. Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Charlie, Tango, Runway 8, right, Christian, check my frequency, 121.9. One, one, one. Uh, ground, Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Charlie, Tango, good morning, ready for taxi. Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Charlie, Tango, holy ground, Runway 8, right, taxi via Charlie, Romeo, Tango, Romeo, and Juliet, hold short, Runway 4, right. Uh, runway 8, right, by uh, Charlie, Romeo, Tango, Right to Romeo and then Juliet. Runway 8 right. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango, that is correct. And on Romeo, hold short of the extended runway 4 right, final bridge force. Romeo on Romeo, hold short extended runway 4 right. Copy it. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, taxi briefing. Uh, you will you will see the taxi, okay? So all good. Three seven hundred on the blue ground and clearance warning. Three seven hundred. Three seven hundred. Report clear. for departure. Molokai. Happy off. One zero zero radio boogie direct. Okay, we are Victor Papa Charlie Fox or Tango depart to San Bernardino. Three seven hundred. Take off flap five, and we got a one thirty six V one rotate one thirty eight V two one forty four. Flap five normal take off power. So set take off thrust before 60 knots, monitor engine instrument, flat instrument, recall panel, any malfunction between 0 to 80 knots, we will report for any light. Uh, we are unhappy with the airplane situation, about close to throttle, trust for maintenance, directional control, apply maximum brake and monitor speed brake deployment. Any malfunction between 80 knots to V1, we're gonna abort take off for uh, engine failure, engine fire, and lost directional control, runway inversion. Any malfunction between after the V1, I will continue to take off. Any immediate action is required, it will be done at or about 400 feet AGL. Memory items you will identify with engine failure. Um, just in case of uh, memory items, you will secure the memory items. I will continue to runway heading request 3000 and resolve the problems. Okay. After all stalled, we request runway 08 for our landing because that's a runway, a longer runway, so about 12,000 feet. And we're light, so there's no maximum landing weight to fly. And you got a departure briefing, you'll brief me later. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, Tango, Modern Tower 118.1. Have a nice day. I want to talk to one point, Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, Tango. Good day, thank you. Honolulu is a fairly big airport, a lot of hotspot areas to be watched especially when taxiing at night or dawn. There is not much traffic this morning so we managed to get a number 2 sequence to go to our departure runway. No matter what airplane you fly, make sure you have taxi diagram, check all the taxiway based on the taxi clearance thoroughly and make sure that you're familiar with this area. 
For some reason, if you lost, just call the ground control and request a progressive taxi. Especially if you are in a big airport and you are not familiar with this area, I recommend you to taxi about 10 to 15 knots maximum. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, or Tango, ready. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, or Tango, Roger. Hold short of runway 8 right, just wait on traffic landing runway 4A. Roger, hold short 8 right, Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, or Tango. Hold short. Check, hold short. Landing runway 8 left. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, or Tango, wind calm, runway 8 right, let's take off. Uh, clear for takeoff, 8 right, Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, or Tango. Okay, clear for the Clear for the Okay, airborne, 1000, turn. Turn right, heading 155. Heading 155, okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Alright, take off, 40%. Okay, clear for the Okay, now it's our Delta Cross, runway 4 right, cross runway 4 left, hold short, runway 8 left. Cross runway 4 right, runway 4 left, Delta, hold short, 8 left. 80 left. Okay. Charger 3, turn right, Echo, taxi around via Charlie, Monogram, ground, good day. Echo, Charlie, Monogram, ground, see ya, Charlie. V1. Okay, the members of my instructions, this XC Delta, Bravo, Golf, Ultra, runway 8, left tech Golf. Turn across the runway is Delta, Bravo, Golf, Ultra, 8, left tech Golf, runway 8. Ready, 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 Victor Papa Charlie Fox Shot Tango, contact the Fortress Good day. Goodbye, Jack Good day. 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 Good morning, Good day. 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 Good all right, guys, we just take off and that's a beautiful day. Take off, very smooth weather. And we're got a heading 100 radio factor now. The 8000 climbing and autopilot is on. This will be five hours, beautiful flight to San Bernardino. Victor Papa Charlie Fox, Tango, turn left, heading 080. Left heading 080, Victor Papa Charlie Fox, Tango. Alright guys, so we are about 400 miles to the top of the sand, now it's 2036 Zulu, still on the flat level uh, 410, weather is perfect, there's no turbulence and all smooth weather, um, we got 40 knots tailwind, we got a jet stream um, on my left side, to the north of our position, it's about 110 knots jet stream, and now let's talk a little bit about um, how to set up the FMC for this San Bernardino International approach. As you know that we're going to use ILS, uh, ILS Zulu runway 06 and there will be a potential circling, okay, circle to land from it to four. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about how to set up that and how to show you uh, the navigation display and what inside the PFD primary flight display of the 737NG, okay? All right, so this is a PFD, the primary flight display in front of you. You will see f uh, 41,000 over there is flight level 410, and that your indicated airspeed to 30, but the real one is now uh, 0.782. In the standard atmosphere, you can time 783 or 82 times by 660 knots. That's one mark, so it means you are like 78% to the Mach 1 right and that's your fma the flight uh annunciator yeah flight mode annunciator right and then you got a fmc speed you got lnf and fnaf pad so it means that lnf and fnaf is the key so the lnf is lateral navigation and the vnaf is vertical navigation the pth mean pad uh everything 
you fly for the vertical will follow whatever set in this box so this box is called flight management system or that box itself is a control display unit and as you know uh, what's the brain and how this uh, CD or a flight management system knows the position so we're going to this part so let's take a look yeah this is IRS okay inertia reference systems uh, we align that and that communicate with our computer that will tell you everything about your flight including your lateral I mean the, the, the direction of flight also including your vertical navigation right your altitude and your planning of descent and everything this is the leg page we put everything there the leg page and then uh, Captain Daddy now is creating a fix just in case that we really need to do the circle to land so we create a lot of uh, fixes there uh, we know that we got some route there if you see okay so it's about zoom in to 160 so that Edsel Eto L key is confirmed in here so you know that we're 141 miles to Edsel 197 is from L key to LAX so the total you have to add everything from 136, 57, 50 to 197 for the total descent to LAX. When you put the cruise page, you will see your magenta or the pink number of flight level 410. When you put it that way, which is that also your altitude over there, and also your altitude at pressurization controller and you click VNAV so it means you're using the VNAV vertical navigation for controlling your altitude descent planning and everything about um, the vertical right then you will get a VNAV path over Zero there now when you put on, on the progress right you will see that you're gonna reach KSBD the San Bernardino at 2152 Zulu and now the time is 2044 and you know that will be like one hour and eight minutes right one hour eight minutes from now we're gonna reach there with the fuel quantity is about 5.6 and our fuel quantity now uh, yeah it's same right 5.5 is about 5.6 but the fuel in San Bernardino is 3.9 so by that time you will exactly uh, calculate the uh, calculate the numbers. Uh, you got. Go ahead, seven eight one. Six diff, uh, subtract to nine is seven, and then four uh, subtract to three is one. So one point seven tons. That will be uh, your fuel. Fuel burn, right? So we're going to this approach trap you will know that using the flaps 30 your speed will be one to two based on current weight so how if we try to subtract with 1.7 so it could be around 47 gross weight right 47 tons let's try it now when i put 47 you will see that the flap sturdy vrf that it that means your landing speed will be 120 knots plus five for the wind correction uh so 125 all the way then that's it right okay so at the depth r page you will see arrival for ksbd since we have two route plan and this is second route because we are expecting a changing of the route our initial flight plan is slightly different with what the the preferred route from the FAA so this is the high level or jet route preferred by the FAA uh, we may have to change to that so we're gonna delay to choose the approaches but anyway either way the route that you're gonna get so you will go to depth R and you will choose whatever the approach is so let's say you're gonna choose LS Zulu 06 which is here LS Zulu 06 the transition is Paradise, PDC, and that's the PDC for in uh, arrival transition. And after that, you're gonna use that uh, stars, either center or Ziggy Seven. Uh, if we got a weather factor, so we don't need to to uh, 
do that uh, stars but you can all only directly go for the approaches after you activate that you will see everything there right so so that's how you manage your plan for the ILS and after that you go back to the chart and do the briefing of your ILS all right guys so that's a preparation um, and little introduction how to set uh, everything like the approach and your PFD from the FMC and finally you will see your exact flight plan and make sure that you are not get complacent with all the automation system you still need to get a situation awareness do your manual flight planning and double check with whatever inside here all right so after this we're gonna wait for the approach briefing and come back because uh, we are one hour to our arrival all right so this is uh road two we already got a clearance to santa catalina so we change when we activate rod two and that we choose now ls06 you push ls06 transition to uh, paradise pdc all right so execute please you execute it and we can go to lakes page you'll see xsc01 that's our fix then santa catalina and then sierra lima india is cell beats anaheim and that's a box coup rabbit and paradise the sudok that's the whole pedis will be our final first fix including localizer or circling and then runway 06 so all set over here you see santa catalina up there right So basically we're set up all the FMC, all the navigation that managed by the LNAP and today we're gonna try demonstrate the auto land because we have to test that system. So auto land will use dual channel, uh, NAV1 and NAV2, we set the LS frequency and after that we see an our PFD uh, dual channel, dual CH and then we will see whether or not this airplane can do uh, the auto land. Level three zero zero, I'll get you. This is already very close to the descent point and I'll do the briefing the weather is good no no thumbs expected runway 06 ILS and on initial contact you have we pick up the at this first now San Bernardino Tower information Quebec 2050 Zulu wind calm visibility 10 mile sky clear below 12,000 tempers okay the weather is good what's the wind Wind calm, so expect runway 06 for arrival. This will be LS. No times weather is completely good. We are 17 miles to descend. I'll do the descent checklist, pressurization, landing altitude set, recall. Descent checklist, pressurization, landing altitude, 1000, all of the recall check, auto brake. Auto brake 2. Landing at the minimum. VRAF 121 minimum is 1353 on my side. Approach moving. Okay, okay, let's continue. Uh, so, zero, zero 06 runway. Uh, we got radar factor to Santa Catalina. And then still beats Anaheim. There's no star. It should be radar factor all the way. Post coup. And a bit paradise. Air, two, four, six, zero, that's the last angle of center climb. Then Same we level, are four, reaching to Pettis. So, localizer 109.3 set on the boat. Zero 057, zero 057. Runway landing is 10,000. We have more than enough runway at this 124, 175. Uh, three, three, we three, already have it. Maintain so expect we will intercept at Sudok uh, from uh, 4,000. Descent to 3,300. And then minimum 1,353. Descent pulling the glide slope. Runway not inside where anything happened. We are not good. Unstable approach. We go miss. Climb 2,000. Climbing right turn to 6,000. 2 to 2 6, PDC for tag and hold, entry and direct, continue climb in, hold 6000. Miss approach required minimum climb rate gradient for 340 feet per nautical mile to 4000, which is we are okay with that. Single engine gradient is um, we are able to do it. If unable, mid climb gradient, see localizer Yankee disregard. And we have uh, altitude constraint at San Santa Catalina 12,000 feet, and we already set Santa Catalina altitude constraint 12,000. After landing, expect landing at Alpha 2, turn back to Alpha, Delta, and park near to the tower. Alpha 2, Alpha, Delta. Okay, stand by, we're descending. Out hold. Okay. Approach briefing complete. 
Hello, Stock Calgary, good morning. Uh, Boeing Victor Papa Charlie Fox or Tango 15000 descent to 12, information Quebec. To Victor Papa Charlie Fox, try Tango, to see direct Seal Beach, descend to maintain 10000. 10000 Seal Beach, Charlie Fox or Tango. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll show you, we are approaching alley area. The airspace, you see a lot of traffic here. Wow, that's a diamond, that's a TCAS to show you a lot of traffic. So on our left side, uh, we have one traffic 500 feet above us and descending. So it should be no factor. And also take a look in front of you. That's a big bear with the all snow. Amazing. So we're descending through the clouds and this is like a cloud surfing and you see the snow over there. Boeing Charlie Foxtrot Tango depart Paradise Direct Sudoc and intercept localizer. Thank you, Paradise Sudoc, intercept localizer. Pick up by Charlie Foxtrot Tango. We cancelled to use Autoland since the airplane failed to perform a dual channel approach. So this will be a normal ILS landing with a single channel autopilot until 1000 feet and I fly manually to touch down with 5 knots tailwind on runway 06. Uh, tower, pick up Papa Charlie, Fox or Tango. Good afternoon, ILS 6. Boy, Victor, Papa, Charlie, Fox or Tango, Silver Tower. Good afternoon, runway 6, clear to land, wind calm. Uh, clear to land, runway 6, pick up Papa Charlie, Fox or Tango. Okay, so we are on the final runway 06, runway inside. 500. 400. 3 minimums. Two hundred. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. This is the one for XC yeah. again, your altitude. Three thousand six hundred altitude. Roger, enter a right down in uh, for runway 6, turn your base at Interstate 215 to report turning base, you can begin your descent. We'll report turning base for runway 6, 11, Quebec. We'll go back, turn your base at Interstate 215. Point Charlie, Fox, Rod, Tango, turn off the first intersection of the top at 2, contact ground control, 121.8. 128, exit Alpha 2, thank you, good so welcome to San Bernardino guys after 5 hours flight, beautiful weather, uh, beautiful scenery, finally we land LS06 and we are not doing the auto land, it's only single channel there and so we do the manual landing with a 5 knots tailwind, hope you enjoy and after this I'll show you around when a lot of Lion Air airplanes park. Finally we arrive in San Bernardino and as you can see this airport became a rest area for Lion Air Group Boeing 777NG that was taken back by the leaser during this pandemic. Delta Airlines bought all 29 Boeing 737 fleets of Lion Air Group in the first half of 2021 and I'm so glad to be a part of this airplane delivery history. After 20 hours flight from Jakarta, Guam, Honolulu and now San Bernardino, I really hope one day we can fly this airplane back to Indonesia after the pandemic. All right, guys, finally here we are in San Bernardino after more than 20 hours flight with the 737-900ER. Finally, we're landing here with our LS runway 06. Beautiful flight today. I have to say goodbye with this airplane. I know it's a little sad. This is one of the biggest airline in my country because of the COVID-19. So. The company need to send the airplane back and not only her, a lot of airplane here from Lion Air too. Some of them, they already changed the registration to November. You can see a lot of Lion Air group. Everybody is here. So I really hope that one day these airplanes come back to Indonesia. And I'm really thankful for Lion Air for your service and hopefully after the COVID more and more and more airplanes 
we'll be back to Indonesia. All right, guys, so that's all. Thank you very much for accompanying me. Flying from Honolulu, finally we reached here in San Bernardino. And thank you very much again to subscribe and like. For you who want to become a pilot from scratch to this Boeing 77, the pilot, contact this number. We will talk with you. We will give you free training, free webinar to give you idea how to become a pilot and get a job. Maybe a ferry pilot, maybe an airline pilot. But the point is to get your dream flying the jet. See you in the next episode, guys.